We're at the Three Eyes Show in Dodge City, Kansas, and one of the things that goes on is educational programs, and one that's very important to uh, farmers is proper handling of those grains. Joining us to talk about it, Kerry Ebert with uh, K-State. Uh, uh, Kerry, I know uh, safety is always that top concern for, for farmers, and especially, you know, we hear seemingly every week of uh, a situation when it comes to handling grain. Yes, that's true, and we have so much on-farm grain storage in Kansas that the safety message that we have here at the 3i show this year really focused on those exempt locations our farms our ranches our seed handlers that are you know those on farm family seed handlers folks who are handling grain um, on the farm and are exempt from OSHA regulations um, we don't want any more regulations on our farmers and and so we're trying to bring home that message that safe grain handling practices are very very important to prevent tragedy on the farm this this year, you know, maybe with wheat harvest, it's not such an issue. We're not going to have uh, uh, any storage problems necessarily for wheat harvest. But as we look ahead to the fall and we start harvesting those fall crops, uh, uh, oftentimes that's when we get, you know, especially with corn, we have a lot of opportunity for. Uh, excess storage, uh, on the ground storage, that kind of thing. And so our message is about, you know, some of the dynamics of flowing grain, how to prevent flowing grain injuries and accidents, and uh, just some basics of what people need to be aware of, what farmers need to be aware of on the farm. To, um, to keep themselves and their family and their employees safe as we, as we work with grains that are so important to the economy in Kansas. Are there a couple of things maybe that as we prepare uh, for fall that uh, you know, kind of have that, that checklist in place? Well, you know, engulfments are, are, you know, number one top priority, and it takes only seconds to become engulfed in flowing grain. So, um, you know, by the time we're cleaning out bins, maybe to get ready, the first thing I think I'd caution people is we're cleaning out bins from last year's grain to get them ready to store this year's harvest. Um, sometimes that grain has gone out of condition, especially when we're storing it on farm. It, it has that opportunity. It can crust over and, you know, cause cavities in the middle of, of the, uh, the bin. And um, so be very aware of that when you're sending a worker in. Uh, don't work alone when you're working with grain that could be flowing. Um, try not to have anyone in that confined space in the bin while you're augering it out. Um, we, we run into a lot of problems like that. You know, that grain starts flowing down, you know, you kind of like, like the top of an hourglass when you turn it upside down. It makes that little cone in the center. And, you know, if there's an individual in there, they're just going to get sucked further and further down into that grain. Um, extraction is very difficult. So if we can prevent those types of accidents, um, just use extreme caution when you're working with um, out of condition grain, really all grain, but especially out of condition grain. And then encourage children not to play in grain. Um, you know, it, because those engulfments and entrapments can happen so quickly, grain moves very quickly. Once it starts flowing, you know, if you think about it, um, we all can envision that, any of us who have been around grain, that kind of avalanche starts with the grains and then it just keeps moving. And um, so it moves very quickly. We want to keep kiddos out of there. Don't work alone in the grain and just exercise extreme caution when you're working around um, any, any type of grain or flowing ag material, even feed and seed. All right, Carrie. Well, thanks a lot for that update. You're welcome. Thank you, Ken. Carrie Ebert with K-State talking about that very important issue of dealing with the grain on the farm. At the 3i Show in Dodge City for Ag View, I'm Ken Rogers.